hey, I found a California driver. In fact, I found two in, in row number two. Cody Kimley, who won last night in the 48 machine. Again, like we said, we talked to him during autograph session. Also had a chat with the 06 out of Bakersfield, Riley Davidheiser. And rounding out the field, I got the other Vegas driver, the number 4C of Braden Connor from Las Vegas. Five cars ready to go. Junior late model racing. Green flags out for now, but not yellow. Long. And why, Tommy, is it not out? Because the race director next door did not like the start. He, he was not fond of, of what Just he didn't look good, you know? Like, you want those perfect photo of the cars coming to you. Well, this one didn't look very perfect. Now, the, the one thing I wish I had on here in addition to and it's funny because we had a chat with them and we had so much fun talking with them i forgot to ask how old some of these drivers are yeah no definitely these so this is a division that you get the bandolero kids anywhere from uh bandolero kids so the 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 youth of this class is just about if i were to speculate uh anywhere from about 12 to 15 years old junior late models here this is what this is what bridges from the bandoleros or the mini dwarves or any type of kids class go-karts into stock car racing these are full-on late models with a restrictor plate so last night it was the driver who was running third place, who ended up taking the win as he came out of the turn, Tommy. So it was very exciting last night. We'll see what happens here. Green flag in the air. Side by side for the third position. These two drivers we had a chat with, in fact, they were going at each other, friendly during autograph session and now they're side by side on track the 48 machine of Kimley and the 06 of David Heiser are going to take over the third position don't mess with her Tommy no definitely she the racer out at Orange Show Speedway she's all sideways Woo! into turn number three hanging on to it Cody's going to fight back and get by on the inside that was a moment. That was a big moment there. Up front, the 12 machine of Keller trying to chase down Smotherman in the 24. We're going to have a race for the lead here in the next few laps. These two regular competitors out at the bull ring in Las Vegas. Good to see them growing up into the junior late models. Therefore, we watched them grow up in bandoleros out at the bull ring. And now we get to see them racing junior late models. And I think that rivalry from the young days now into these late models continue on. I don't think... Oh! Around goes the four machine of Connor. Caution flag. Not the first one of the night, but the first in our main events he is out. We'll see if we'll see if there it is. Fired back up. 4C of Braden Connor. So this will be a quickie yellow. Got to thank our sponsors, Justice Brothers, for getting the racing back here at Irwindale Speedway alongside of Sunrise Ford. I just picked me up a Ford Fusion not too long ago. I'm enjoying the ride and enjoying helping out one of the longtime sponsors of short track racing out west, Sunrise Ford, LKQ Pick Your Part, LA Racing, Pinnacle Peak Steakhouse, Pepsi, go get you a nice co ice cold Pepsi or Miller Lite or 805 and enjoy tonight's racing action here at Irwindale Speedway. Getting ready for the restart, five laps down, 20 laps to go as we get racing. Motherman out into the lead, the number 24, Keller in the second spot. They have a gap over the 48 of Kimley. The number 48 in the third spot, winner last night. They do run two main events on one weekend. Twelve of 
Keller is slowly reeling in the number 24 of Smotherman. Not too much farther, and he'll be tickling that back bumper. You can see the two different lines here as they race around. The 24 actually getting sideways, Smotherman. But watch how Smotherman kind of arcs the corner just a little bit more going into turn number three. Not that time going into turn number one. But Keller closing in just a little bit. Looks like Smotherman rounding out that corner just a little bit more. It's a little bit, Tommy, I guess you could say it's a difference of working, focusing on your entry versus focusing on your exit. Yeah. One driver, you can see how hard they drive into these corners. But you can watch as the 12 closes in right here, right at the apex, and then the 24 is able to gap it. Maybe not this time as much. Around goes David Heiser in the 06 machine over in turns three and four. This will be our sec our technical third yellow in this race. Lap number 11. Of 25. So 14 laps to go in this main event. I like, there's something endearing about the paint job of the 06. I know it's it's just a black car with it's white numbers. It's old school. But doesn't it have that old school feel it's to it? It's old school, yeah. Riley David Heiser from Bakersfield spins out, brings out our third caution. Folks, in the grand sense, raise your hands, make some noise if this is your first time here at Arundel Speedway. All right, newbies I hear some noise. I right. see some newbies right on. Nice. Well, thank you for coming out. We certainly hope that next time you're here, you won't have to raise your hand. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your neighbors' friends that we're racing here next Saturday night, Night of Destruction, Father's Day. Destruction weekend, I guess you will. Yeah, and don't forget, after this race, you can go down to the LA Racing booth, and uh, they they got some goodies down there, Tommy, that you can enter to win. You can win a door. You can win all kinds of prizes. And for those of you interested in next weekend, online discount code is Father's Day. www.irwindellspeedway.com. Go ahead and get your discount tickets. Five bucks off as we go back to racing. Into turn number one. Smoking it up a little bit is that 12 machine of Keller. A good restart for Smotherman. Going to gap here. But Tommy hanging right there in the third spot, much like he did last night, is Cody Kimley. Now, we talked to Cody Kimley in autograph session. He said that the top... Oh, bumper tag over <laughs> and turns one and two. David Heiser helped Braden Connor around over in the 4C. And I feel like that's a perfect transition because I was just about to talk about how the 48 won last night. The same incident, but with the top two runners, they spun themselves out. The 48 in third took the win. Uh, but now we're seeing it in the back of the pack. So don't mess with Riley, man. Don't mess. Riley David Heiser. <laughs> Now, obviously, this class is here for the youngsters to learn. And no, no damage, that no was harm, no foul. Seen the bump and run. Yep. Or maybe the bump and dump. Did, did a little too much there. So next time, you just got to move them out of the way. Lights out from the pace truck. The Spears Southwest Tour pace truck being our honorary pace truck here tonight. Well, we Thomas? might be we might be under yellow for one more lap due to the lineup issues. Nope, we're going green. Halfway in our first main event of the night, Smotherman continues to lead over Keller, Kimley, Connor, and David Heiser. Smotherman got a really good restart there. Put himself the farthest I've seen between himself and second spot of Keller. And you know, I want to I want to echo what you were talking about during our lineup. Is uh, props to these teams coming out from Vegas and, and the families and crews putting in the effort to make it out to Irwin Dale Heiser. Wait, no, that's oh dang it. Now that one, that's that was a learning moment. That was a learning moment. We we have a saying in racing that's called locker down. Locker down. Riley did not lock her down there. She thought she had a lot more racetrack than there was. It, so was just, it was just parallel parking practice. I just want you to know that this is our third caution in the last two laps. 
we're on a roll here. Yeah. Riley gonna keep going. Now let's see how much damage she's got on that rear end here. Let's see. From here it doesn't look bad. Now I'm I'm gonna stick up for Riley here. You know, and, and here's she's good why. to go. She's good to go. Here's why. First off, like you said, she's she's still slated to finish this race. But like we talked about, this is the division to learn in. Yep. And you're not gonna learn if you don't put the car on the edge and find the fine line between Racing hard and hardly racing. Hard, <laughs> I was gonna say wrecking hard, but <laughs> luckily she. I mean, she mostly got away with it. Did back it into the wall. That's all right. It's a learning curve. You can hit the wall, just don't destroy your car, right? I did that once. Well, you got you got the wrong pole. Well, yeah, they told in qualifying they said get the pole, to which I went over in turn two and nailed it. And then they said, not that pole. The car wasn't looking pretty after no, that. No, not at all. But the good news is it was a full invert, so I got to start up front anyway. That's very true. Very true. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's a reason that we, uh, we're not in any of these type of divisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we stay to the wreck, wreck classes next week. Everyone's happy when you crash in those ones. Exactly. All right, restart lap number 14, 11 laps to go. Green flag. Well, if there's one person who doesn't need to learn their restarts, RJ Smotherman's got it down. Keller right now trying to close in from behind. Now, Tommy. Yeah? I'm looking at this 12 machine. And it looks like every time maybe that car gets on the gas or smoke coming out of it. What might that be? I think the driver's just driving hard or picked up a bad habit. I'm not sure uh -huh. what's going on. But it's not slowing him down at all. Not slowing him down. Kyle Keller in the second spot. Again, you've heard me say this before. Slowly reeling in Smotherman. Two different lines that they're taking through the corners. Both drivers from Vegas. Yeah, they have they probably saw each other on the way here, and they're certainly seeing each other on track now. Bobble! Bobble! Smotherman in the lead. Almost gave it away in the center of three and four. Holds back onto that lead. So as soon as Keller th thought he's had his opportunity, the 24 got back on the gas. Well, watch this as they go into turn number one. Can Keller get a move there? Smotherman looks like he's struggling a little bit in the center of the corner. And that's where Keller peeking in there into turn number three. The 12 machine's thinking about it. Giving up a lane. He gives up that inside groove, but still drives off. Oh! Trouble in turn number three. It is a 4C of Brayden Connor again. Around in turn number three, gets that car back onto the apron so he can fire it back up. This race is taking its time, but it's exciting. It's fun to watch, and I don't think this battle is over up front for the lead. Five laps to go when you get restarted. Tommy? I'll put it to you in this way. All right. If this race was a stake, it would be well done by now. It would be. And the reason I say that is because you can actually get a nice steak <laughs> at one of our sponsors here at Irwindale Speedway. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was great. That was great. Yeah, Pinnacle Peaks. All right. Glenn's going to give you a bonus for that one. You think so? He'll crave you a baked potato problem. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you, Glenn. <laughs> the Pinnacle Peaks Steakhouse. Good times there. No tie. If you bring one, don't, it's yeah. going on the wall. You get penalized if you bring yes, one. Yes, you do. So you, don't dress fancy. At least don't show up with a tie. You know you know, you and I are going to show up in t-shirts and a tie. What if we showed up with a tuxedo t-shirt? They might have to cut it off. Oh, boy. We'll warn everybody when we do that <laughs> to not show up. Here we go. Restart with five laps to go. All right, fans, choose who you're rooting for in this one because we got a good race for the lead. We'll see who's able. Here comes Keller closing in from behind again. How much longer until that 12 starts using that front bumper? 
This is short track racing. Four laps to go. We're there, Tommy. We're in that window. Five, like you said, four laps to go here. Keller all over that rear bumper. Keller wants to win this one. Smotherman trying to hold on to it. Here comes Keller. Keller looking to the outside lane. Not too much. He actually arcs that corner big time. Tries to get a run, and he does out of turn number two. Tried the crossover. It did work, but it's not going to hold it there. Keller all over the rear bumper with th two laps to go. All right, Jeffrey. I'm not one to drive these late models, but I can tell you what. We're in the two-lap window. The 24 has not made it easy on the 12. Chrome horn time. It is bumper time, and are we going to see it here? Here comes Keller chasing down Smotherman with one lap to go. They dive into turn number one. Keller all over that rear bumper. There it is. Tommy, he's there it pushing is. him. There it is. Oh, he, Keller spins it out. He takes himself out. Out of turn number two, RJ Smotherman to no, the yellow. No caution flag is out. This race isn't over. Oh, boy. Right when you thought it happened, it didn't. So we're going to get a green white hey, checkered Saturday night shootout. I don't style. care who you are. I'm giving this driver a hand out of turn four. Going for it was Kyle Keller. You know, Tommy, there's sometimes that saying in the race where a driver pushes a little hard and says, well, I didn't want to take him out. Uh, Keller went as as hard as he yes. could without turning the 24 and unfortunately ended up looping it himself. But he's got time to make up now. He does. He's got three laps to try to get back up to second spot. Uh, actually, I should say two on the restart. Jeffrey, these cars, either late models running on the smallest track that we have oh, here. We're going green Arizona. and white, Tommy. Oh, green and white. We're okay. seeing a one-lap dash. Fine, then. Fine. Yeah. Okay, but I was going to say, as these cars, a lot of rear horsepower. We go green and white. So Keller's got a lot of work to do, but Smotherman, as long as he can continue what he was doing, Jeffrey, cruising. Now, RJ Smotherman did not get this one easy, but out of turn number four, your winner, the number 24 machine, RJ Smotherman. Keller will make it up to fourth. Kimley, another top three finish in the number 48. He finishes third, or winning last night, second tonight. Y you know what? And this Riley David Heiser. Yeah. We saw her hit the wall. We've seen her cause cautions, finishing third. You know what this tells me, Tommy? The future in stock car racing is bright. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for these youngsters out here. When I was when I was 14, 15, I was still playing with the Hot Wheels, man. I wasn't driving late models. Yeah, when I was when I was that young, I uh, I was too. Not now. No shame. I don't I don't do that now. Okay, you got me. I got you. Yeah. But well, here he comes do. from Las Vegas to Victory Lane, the number 24 of R.J. Smotherman. As he'll line it up and park it on Victory Lane. The rest of these youngsters, the top three, they'll all go to our post-race victory lane on the outside of the grandstand, sending it down to Tim. R.J. Smotherman in the house for another win at Irwindale. That was pretty cool, Irwindale, huh? These are kids out here. They don't even drive cars. So right now I'd like to introduce you to somebody while R.J.'s getting out. Come on over here, Lance. Yeah! Ooh, all right, all right. How about that, RJ? Good job. Get your helmet off and we'll talk to you. So real quick, I wanted to introduce one of our special sponsors tonight. This is Lance Lewis from Lewis Engraving and Lewis Airsoft. He's donated all the trophies for tonight's race. Lance, tell us where you are and what you guys do over there. Hey, we're in uh, San Bernardino Road in Covina, right behind Home Depot. If any of you kids want to take up some airsofting, come on down and give it a try. And we'll throw another plug out there. Project N1 is an indoor airsoft field. He's a good sponsor, too. So come on down and give us all a try. All right, airsoft people, make sure you go see Lance Airsoft in Covina. RJ, come on over here. Haley Huddleston, I think you got some hardware courtesy of Lance Lewis. Let's give that to Mr. RJ in the house. That was awesome. Great job, RJ. Tell us what you think of your hot rod. Oh, dear day. It was loose tonight, but I got it done 
finally took me, only took me three years. Well, that was awesome. We're so proud of you. Man, your buddy had some pretty good moves on the inside there, but you held him off for the win. Who do you want to thank? Oh, I'd like to thank my sponsors, um, Wolfenstein Construction, Affordable Autos, RV Superstore, TXS Projections, um, my dad, my mom, my sister, um, Lenny White, especially for helping us so much. Um, I, I, I have so many people to thank, I don't even remember. Uh, oh, Rob Kimley for sure. Yeah, Rob helps a lot of people out here. Hey, RJ, how old are you? 13. 13 years old! Ah, oh, how about that? All right, RJ, go up there and get a picture with Haley Huddleston. Right up by the car there. Great job. Tommy Jeffrey, he's 13. What were you doing at 13? I think I know. Yeah, we were sitting in your race car. We were sitting think, in your race car on autograph session. I think I remember that big old yellow hat. Yep, absolutely. It's a surprise that we didn't get stuck. Yeah. It's probably best for our parents that there weren't junior late models back then. <laughs> It's probably best for us. Best too, yeah, for our health and safety. Yeah.